Hey guys, welcome back to Pierre Hachet Music. Cheers. So today I'm going to do something that frankly I find a little intimidating, but I had this idea for a video and I just gotta go ahead and follow through with it. I'm going to play through every single song in my best-selling ukulele book, Easy Ukulele. If you don't already have it, feel free to check it out down below on my website, pierrehachetmusic.com, or you can just use this video here as a kind of play-along tutorial. It starts with easy children's songs and gradually gets a little more advanced with some uh, other kind of pop music, uh, House of the Rising Sun, Love Me Do by the Beatles, that kind of stuff. There's even jingle bells towards the end. So I'm going to play through everything. I might not get through it all. This might be a video in two parts. I'm going to see how this goes. And I'm going to timestamp the different songs down below. So if you want to kind of look through and see which songs interest you the most, maybe it's a song you're working on in the book, or if you just like to check it out and, and practice it uh, on your own here, uh, you can follow the timestamps down below. So bear with me. I'm going to go through all of these one at a time. I'm going to show you what chords are in the song. Uh, so I'll show the chord diagrams only before each song, and then I'll just uh, write the chords out uh, probably like here somewhere as I play them, and you can feel free to play along and practice along with me. So this is going to be one of the longest videos I've ever created here on YouTube. I'm excited for it. Be sure to stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so in the book Easy Ukulele, I start out with a few fundamental exercises, some great technique exercises that you might want to check out. I actually created another video that presents those. It's about a 10 minute video and really gives you some great foundational kind of technique exercises for ukulele. So I encourage you to check that out. Um, but the song section of this book starts with the easy tune Hot Cross Buns. It's a, kind of a classic, easy first song to learn on ukulele. And in easy ukulele, it's in the key of C. So it uses the chords C and G. Okay, and it goes like this. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns okay so that's the first tune in easy ukulele the second song is row 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 your boat this one also uses just a c and a g it's one of my favorites i recently uploaded a tutorial for that one and it's also kind of the theme song in a children's book that i wrote a couple years ago called muse a dream filled interactive musical adventure you can also check that one out down on my website pierrehashimusic.com great introduction to music for kids but row your boat goes like this also c and g here we go row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream and the next song in easy ukulele is the wheels on the bus also just with c and g now by the way i want to mention if you if you find the g chord difficult all these songs could also be played with F and C. So to do that, you replace the C chord with the F. So the first chord of the songs becomes F. And then when you go to the G chord, you go to C instead. So that would be playing these in the key of F and it just makes them a little easier. And also you'd be singing in a different key. So often it would be a little lower to sing. So you could try them that way as well. I break that down a little more uh, clearly in my Roll, Roll, Roll Your Boat video. I'll link to that one down below if you wanna try it in F. Okay, here we go. The wheels on the bus also C and G. Goes like this. <laughs> you know it, here we go, sing along. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. And then of course there's the different verses, right? The wiper 
sewers on the bus go swim. I'm not going to play through them all, guys. You can try it out, but the chords to that one are C, 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 G, 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 C, 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 G, G, C, C, okay? And try the different verses, the wipers on the bus, the horn on the bus, the doors on the bus. I have the words there written down in, in the book Easy Ukulele, uh, so feel free to, to play a longer version for your kids uh, <laughs> and have fun with that one. The next couple songs introduce the F chord. So this first one is London Bridge, going between F and C. So this one's pretty easy. Uh, it would also be, the melody is the same as head and shoulders, knees and toes. Maybe I'll show you both. So London Bridge would be, Lon oh sorry, yeah, so F and C, you got it? F and a C chord, okay? Here, here we go. London Bridge is falling down. shoulders, knees, and toes, it's the same chords, but you would do uh, two Fs at the end instead of the one F. So that would go head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth, so there's that extra F at the end. Okay, one more. Here's a classic, You Are My Sunshine. So it uses the C chord, F, and then at the end we go to G. Here's You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. tune. The Johnny Cash version is great. There's other verses as well and they would follow those same chords. The next song in Easy Ukulele is If You're Happy and You Know It. Okay, also C, G, and F. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands that's a fun one the next song in easy ukulele introduces the a minor chord okay many of you surely know this one already it's just the second fret up top so the itsy bitsy spider uses c g a minor and f it goes like this. I love this one. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and washed up all the rain, or dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again okay ends on a C chord um, you'll notice that a lot of these songs I'm just playing one strum per chord and that's a nice way to start you could eventually do other strumming patterns this one for example sounds great with two strums per chord it could be the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout so you could try it with two strums on each of those chords, it makes it a little more rhythmic and the strums kind of follow um, the lyrics a little more that way. 
The next song in Easy Ukulele is Rockabye Baby. Uh, this one's a little tricky to sing. Um, I find it a little low, I think, in my range, but it goes to a G7 chord. Okay, so here we introduce G7. We have C and G7. It goes like this. Three, four. Rockabye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. It's a little dark, that tune, eh? It's kind of weird. Anyways, just G7 and C, another children's song classic. Are You Sleeping also just uses C7 and G. Here we go. Three, four. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding. This one's great in French. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous. You could try it with the French lyrics as well. So you'll notice in my book, I gradually introduce more chords. And so you're gradually kind of widening your vocabulary of chords that you're familiar with and working on those transitions in these easy songs. Next, we have Happy Birthday. Also C, G7, and F. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear YouTube subscriber, happy birthday to you. I also made a video where I uh, teach that song with like four or five different strumming patterns, make it a little groovy so you can check that out. I'll link to that one down below. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, sorry, I'm going to count this one in for you. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, by the way, it's the same chords. C, G7, and F. One, two, three, four. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I want you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what We can thank Mozart for that one. I think he wrote it when he was like six or something. It's crazy. Okay, here's the next one. Yankee Doodle, also C, G7, and F. Three, four. Yankee Doodle went to town Riding on a pony Stuck a feather in his cap And called it Macaroni can't go wrong with Yankee Doodle. Next, This Old Man. A lot of fun. Kids love this one. And again, there's many verses. I'm just going to sing the first one. It's C, F, and G7 once again. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. And then this old man, he played too. He played knick-knack on my shoe. So you can try the different lyrics. They're all in the book, or you can look those up online. Oh, Susanna uses the same three chords. Beautiful song. I come from Alabama. Okay, C, G7, and F. Here we go. Three, four. I come from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. We're going to Louisiana, our true love for 
to see. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. We're going to Louisiana just to play ukulele. And, you know, one like this could be, I come from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. We're going to Louisiana. You can definitely add some more strumming there. I was going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up something like that, and that strumming pattern would cover two chords at a time. You can try it out like that if you'd like. Ba Ba Black Sheep is the next one. Again, C, F, G7. Two, three, four. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. The next is a beautiful Christmas song. This one, Silent Night, introduces a C7 chord, okay, which is just the first fret on the bottom. So you'll also need C, G, C7, and F. This one's a little tricky to sing. I'll probably be going down, jumping down the octave at one point. You'll see. You can sing it your way. Maybe you can hit those high notes. I can't. Here is Silent Night. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Okay, try that one out. The next song in Easy Ukulele is a classic, Amazing Grace. I've made a tutorial for this one. I'll, I'll try to link to that one down below as well. It also has C, C7, F, and the G7. One, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a rain. This one also works great with three strums per chord. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So you'll notice that with the three strums per chord, often the word or the syllable lands on the third strum. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as you're keeping a steady strumming pattern throughout the tune.
Oh my gosh, we're getting there. Okay, there's like four songs left. I can't believe we're getting through all of these. The next one it, uh, adds the D7 chord. So an easy open voicing for D7 is like this. And she'll be coming around the mountain goes C, has a C, a G7, then back to C then there's a C7, F, D7. Okay, those are the chords you need to know for this one. And it's a little quicker, a lot of fun. Here we go. One, two, three. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. That one also has a bunch of different verses. You can look them up and try them out with those chords. Next is one of my favorites, Love Me Do by the Beatles. So this has a G and a C, and then introduces the D, the D chord uh, in like the bridge, okay? I'm gonna play this one with one strum, but then I'll also show you how it could sound with a nice full strumming pattern. Here we go. Two, three, four. Love, love me do, you know I love you. I'll always be true, so please love me do, whoa, love me do. Right to the bridge, here we go. Someone to love, somebody new, someone to love. Someone like you. Okay, so notice at the end of the verse, I did a short C, right? The last C was ba, ba, I cut it. And then the last G at the end, I go pause, strum, strum. Those are a couple little punches that kind of brings the song to life. With full strumming, Love Me Do can sound like this. I'll go down, 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 up, up, down, up, something like that. That uh, really imitates the recording. One, two, three. For love, love me do, you know I love you, I'll always be true, so please, love me do, whoa, love me do, someone to love, somebody new, someone Someone to love, someone like you, Lo and so on. Okay, a lot of fun. House of the Rising Sun is another great tune. I'll play this one for you twice as well, once with just one strum, and then I'll show you a great strumming pattern. Here we introduce the E7 chord. So House of the Rising Sun go, need, uh, requires the A minor, the C, a D, an F, and then that E7 chord. Okay, here we go with one strum. I'm just gonna say one, two, then I start. One, two. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy and God, I know I'm one. Okay, now if I add some strumming, it could be, uh, this one's in a 6-8 feel, eh? So it's like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, something like that. One, two, three, four. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy and God. I know. So on, okay. 
Okay, great tune. You can look up the lyrics, try the other verses, and either just with one strum or a full 6-8 strumming pattern like down, 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 up, down, up will work great. Wow, so we made it to the end. One more song. In Easy Ukulele, there's actually some other pop songs towards the end where I give exact strumming patterns. I don't have the lyrics, but uh, just some strumming patterns to some well-known pop riffs. I'll make a separate video for that. But the last song in this book that has the chords and lyrics is Jingle Bells. Guys, if you got value out of this video, please smash the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for tons more beginner ukulele videos. I have playlists down below, and you can check out all my books on my website, pierrehashemusic.com. Here is Jingle Bells. It involves a G chord, C, A minor, D7, and the A7. I think that covers it. Did I say D? There's also a D chord in it. Okay, let's try this out. Three, four. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Through the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you get value out of this. Practice along to your favorites, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.